So the first card you have in your past is the Three of Cups. So yes, I'm seeing, you know, getting around, having talks with people, having fun with people, just chatting with people. Um, I'm actually seeing you having a lot of light-hearted conversations uh, with a group of people. You could have been, yes, you could have actually been bonding over some emotional experiences that you've had and maybe you, um, maybe you actually ended up saying too much um, around these people, a little bit too much of your personal life around these people. Now, if you look at these three women in this card, they're holding their cups up in the air. Cups represent water, represents emotions. So they have their cups up over their heads. So they have their emotions. They're putting their emotions above their brains, above their minds. Now, I'm not saying that you put your emotions above your brain. That sounds horrible. I'm sorry about that. But I am seeing that you might have gotten carried away with a fun conversation. You might have gone, oh, ha, 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 I did this back in the day. And then someone else said, oh, oh, well, I did this, you know, I did this, this and that and the other, and oh, oh, oh this happened to me, and ha, 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 ha. And then what happens is you might have overshared your experiences. And then when you went home or after that, when you were by yourself and, you know, you were thinking, oh, wow, I was really caught up in that moment. I might have said some things I shouldn't have said. I really overshared. I said too much. And now I'm feeling a little bit uneasy about that. So that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that you probably had some regrets about some things that you were said. And yes, sharing's fine. There's nothing wrong with sharing with people. I'm not telling you never to say anything to anyone. But I am saying that sometimes you can get a little bit over carried away. Not just you, anyone can. I have been in that situation myself. When the conversation's flowing and everyone's laughing and this person shares this and the other one shares that and the other one does that. And you know, you look at these women, they're dancing around in a circle. They're kind of dancing round and round. They don't know what they're doing. They're not really thinking. And then something comes out and they don't mean it to come out or something's done or something's said. Everyone's laughing at the time. But later on, when you look back, you kind of think, oh, why did I do that? Now, I'm not saying you were drunk. That's not what I'm saying. So don't, don't accuse me of that. It might have been. I don't know. But you were involved in some kind of conversation that went a little bit too far and you might have just overshared. Now, I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound boring. Have fun, talk to people, do everything. Just, I just want you to be careful, that's all. I just want you to be careful. The next card you have for your past is the Page of Wands. So yes, again, I'm seeing a lot of talking, a lot of animated talking and laughing and all of this kind of thing. Um, and that's what I was seeing in the Three of Cups. So you went through that time and then you came back and you were by yourself and then it was a little bit sobering. You were like, oh, okay, hmm, maybe I said this, that kind of thing. So yes, the only thing I'm seeing with this card is that, um, yes, this might sound a bit strange, but I'm seeing a message coming to you. And this message uh, is some news about a child. So not a, not a newborn, not a, not a kind of a pregnancy announcement or anything like that. I'm seeing this might be something about um, a child or a younger relative. Uh, this wasn't bad news, but it wasn't good news either. Um, I'm seeing that they could have had, whoever this was, could have gotten into trouble or maybe they acted before they thought, because there's a lot of acting before thinking um, in all of these cards in your past I'm seeing. Um, and yes, this person had a lot to learn. I'm seeing that, you know, they didn't think they had a lot to learn. They thought they knew everything and they went ahead, did something. They got themselves into trouble. And I'm seeing that they probably did learn from this mistake that they made. Um, they might not have shown that they've learned. They might have been a little bit kind of, oh no, I know everything. I'm fine. This is nothing, blah, blah, blah. But actually internally, they were feeling this. They did learn a lesson. I'm seeing that. Um, so yes, they did learn their lesson and don't worry about whoever this is because I'm seeing that, you know, they're not going to repeat that and they're not going to repeat the same mistake again. And the other thing I'm seeing with this card is, um, I know this is in your past, just be a little bit careful of overspending if, if you're still kind of going through this kind of fast energy thing, if you feel kind of like, oh, I'm so energetic, this and that, and I'm, oh, I'm so happy. Um, it's fantastic to feel like that. Of course, there's nothing wrong with feeling like that. I love feeling like that. 
just be a little bit careful of overspending at this time because I'm seeing that you might have some extra expenses coming up for you sometime very soon in your future. You're going to need a little bit extra to put away for that. Uh, there's a lot of, um, yes, there's a lot of overdoing things in your past around you, not just you, other people around you as well. There's a lot of kind of excess I'm seeing going on. The last card you have your past is um, the King of Wands. So yes, this could be why I'm seeing you being a little bit tempted to overspend, overspeak, overdo everything. Um, you just had no limitations. You didn't feel any limitations on yourself at that time. Now, this is fantastic. I love feeling like that. And I don't want to be kind of the teacher telling you not to do things and don't don't run around in the playground and do this or that. I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be the kind of person who kind of stops all the fun. But... Um, you are very high energy at this time. Now, if this resonates and you're still like this, if you're still in this high energy mode, this is fantastic, of course, make the most of it, but try to channel it into things that benefit you. Uh, maybe your lover, maybe into a project, maybe into fitness or something that's positive, something that's good for you. Because what I'm seeing is this high energy time is fantastic while it lasts. You feel like you can do anything. But then when you look back on it and you're at a low energy time, you're going to think, did I make the most of this? What did I do? And so, yes, while you're in it, you can think, OK, I'm going to channel it into doing something positive for myself, something that's going to benefit me. That's what I'm seeing. So the first card you have for your present is the Emperor. Yeah, so again, this is another message to you, another message to you, to channel your energy um, in a kind of a more disciplined way. Um, I'm sorry if I'm sounding boring. Again, I don't mean to sound boring. I'm just... I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. Um, I'm also seeing that, you know, you do have, you do have very, very, very strong feelings, strong feelings for someone, obviously a love situation. So, um, you have a lot of, yes, you have a lot of passion for this person as well, I'm seeing. But, you know, you might not be showing this to them or letting them see your true feelings for some reason. You might not be showing all of you to someone. Um, you have had some very, very difficult relationships in your past. I'm seeing one specific relationship. Um, and yes, you're always feeling on guard in this relationship, always feeling as if you had to be ready for some kind of battle. You felt like they were ready to kind of snap at you and you're ready to battle back at them or something like that. I'm seeing this was a defense strategy that you kind of needed to have or you felt that you needed to have in this past relationship. Um, and you look at, if you look at this emperor, he has a suit of armor under his cloak. So it's like you're still wearing this suit of armor. You're still feeling the need to battle yourself or for yourself um, against someone else. And I'm seeing that you're trying not to show this. You're trying not to let this past relationship kind of impact on what you have with this person. But you do have this on guard feeling. It's just a feeling you have. And it's like a hangover from this last relationship that you had. So yes, this is going to pass eventually. It's going to take time. I'm seeing that. You're just going to have to try and work with that, be aware of that. Um, and yes, it's going to pass. It just takes time. It's like a hangover that's still there. That's all. The last card you have, um, sorry, the next card, not the last card. The next card you have for your present is Judgment. So yes, this person, this love connection, um, this person in the Emperor card, they can be a little bit unemotional. They might even seem to be a little bit cold toward you um, at this time. I'm not seeing they're being cold on purpose. Maybe they're just a very rational person. They might not be very emotional in their makeup. It might be something like that. So you might be thinking, oh, this person's cold toward me. And it might be triggering off this feeling inside you that might make you kind of put your armor back on again, be on guard again. Now, don't judge this new person by anyone in these past relationships, especially this person that made you feel on guard. You might be doing this subconsciously. You might not mean to do this. They might say something to you or they might not say something to you. They might be acting a little bit cold toward you. You're feeling that they are. 
And um, I don't think they mean to be. I think they're just a very, very kind of an unemotional person. Um, and you might snap at them or you, you might react to them as if you need to be on guard or you're guarding yourself or you're kind of defending yourself against this person. So be very, very careful. Think about when this on guard feeling comes up. If someone says, if this person says something or something comes up, you feel like you need to guard yourself and you, you're about to snap at them. Don't snap at them before you do that. Think about where is this feeling coming from? Is it actually something this person said? Is it actually something they've done? Or is it coming, is this triggering a feeling? that I've experienced in an old relationship. So be really aware, just slow down before you take action, before you say anything against this person and think about, think about where does this feeling come from? Does this person deserve me to snap at them? That's what I'm seeing. Now, Virgo, you're not normally snappy, so it might not be angry snappy you might just be a little bit quiet or cold or you might be a bit off with them because you're on guard with yourself so just think about where that's coming from yes yeah, so the last card you have um, for your present is the sun which i love this is a reminder to you this is a reminder to you this card can represent freedom breaking through breaking free so this has showed you that you know you are free from this old person this old relationship you broke free you're free from it so don't put yourself back psychologically to where you were in this relationship again try and be aware of your thoughts and your feelings and you know think about where they're coming from before you act again you're free don't send yourself back into this old relationship and don't push this person away either this is a good person okay so don't go back there don't go backwards don't push them into this either that's what i'm seeing the first card you have for future is the king of pentacles so yes you're going to get past this you're going to get past this guarded feeling you're going to be feeling a little bit more stable like this king you're going to be feeling that um and yes you're going to be in a more stable position internally i'm seeing just like this king it is going to take time the king um, of pentacles is a very slow moving card it took him a long time to get to the position he's in so it's going to take you a long time to work on this work on yourself um, work on you know triggering working on work on whatever's triggering this guardedness um, because i'm also seeing this king is wearing a suit of armor as well under his robes um, look at his foot sticking out so he's in armor as well so again you know this is just going to take time you're just going to have to work through this um, i won't repeat myself about that anymore i just keep on seeing the same situation the next card you have for your future is yes the tower so i'm seeing some talk i'm seeing some gossip so Yes, there's someone, um, maybe even two people, they might, I'm seeing one specific person, they're one main person. So if it's two people, there's one main person and a kind of a sidekick to this person. Um, these people or this one person especially are going to be talking about you. They might actually, um, they might not... They might not actually have anything against you personally, but they are a gossip. They are gossiping and gossiping is not nice. Gossiping is not nice. They might be gossiping over text messaging because I'm seeing words that, you know, are seen, but they're not heard. So they might be gossiping over Facebook messaging or they might be gossiping over Facebook or Twitter or something like that. Um, or they might just be texting this gossip. Now, Yes, again, they might not have anything against you personally, but they're just gossips. But it's still gossip. It still hurts. Gossip is still bad. I still can't stand gossips, whether they mean it or not. It's not nice to do that. Um, yes, I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing. This tower moment is going to come in the form of you um, finding out who this main person is that is gossiping. When you find out who this is, you're going to be very surprised. It's going to be a shock to you as to who this is. Now, again, I'm not seeing this person intentionally trying to hurt you, but maybe they just, um, they're just they just kind of getting carried away in the talk about you. It doesn't matter what the excuse is. It's not good to gossip about people. It's always nasty. Um, people should really think before they speak. But again, you know, 
I'm seeing that maybe you are a bit like that in the Three of Cups. It actually might be one of these people. But whoever it is, it's going to surprise you and it's going to shock you and you're going to have a tower uh, moment with that person. You might be distancing yourself from that person. I, I don't know. I'm not seeing you coming back from this. When the tower falls, it falls. I'm sorry. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have, your future is strength. So yes, I'm seeing you. Yes, you're going to find out about this gossip. And yes, usually gossips are found out about. Eventually, they can keep going for a while, but eventually uh, once word gets around, more word gets out and it goes back to them. It always does eventually. So yes, I am seeing, yes, you are going to have this tower moment. You are going to be surprised at who this is. You're going to have to really hold your temper when you find out who this is. That's what I'm seeing. Now, I don't want to make you paranoid about who's around you. I've had some people commenting, oh, you're just making people paranoid about who's around you and all of this kind of thing. I don't do this on purpose. I see what I see and I read what I see. If I see something that you need to be on guard for, that you need to watch out for, I'm going to tell you because I want to make sure you're aware of what's going to happen if this resonates with you. That's all I'll say about that. 